Well, I'm concerned because, uh, in fact, the Secretary General is concerned. In the last three reports of the Secretary General that we've received on Western Sahara, the issue of human rights has been raised. But because Morocco has very powerful friends in the Security Council, they have always uh, denied us the chance even to support the Secretary General on this. And I think this is a, a way to, that demonstrates that if it was left to some members of the Security Council, the Security Council would just rally behind what Morocco wants. And we think that is not correct. So is the Security Council then guilty of double standards? It is guilty of double standards because if it's Man Myanmar, we are worried about human rights uh, there. If it's Sudan, we're worried about human rights. If it's Democratic Republic of Congo, we're worried about human rights. But when it comes to Western Sahara, just because Morocco has very powerful friends, some who are very permanent members, then deny uh, uh, the Security Council of pronouncing on this, or at least the bare minimum is to support the Secretary General who calls on both parties, Morocco and Polisario, to uphold the human rights of the people uh, in Western Sahara. I assume when you're talking about powerful friends, you mean uh, some of the permanent uh, members of the Security Council, such as France and the United States. So, so is the Security Council the right place for this issue to be raised, or should it be raised within the Human Rights Council? The, the High Commissioner for Human Rights has already prepared a human rights report on the situation in Western Sahara, but it's been held back again because these powerful countries do not want that report uh, to be out. You know, so it's, it's very, very strange that while we are calling on the Human Rights Council now to be very active about human rights all over the world, wherever human rights may be denied, when it comes to, uh, 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 to human rights in Western Sahara, where Morocco is involved, where Morocco is known to have the support of the United States and France, those reports are just being stifled. They are never being seen. On the very same day that the Security Council adopted that resolution yes. that you criticized, yes. Spanish yes. judge Baltazar Garzon launched an inquiry into allegations of genocide in the Moroccan-occupied Western Sahara. How significant a development is this, and can the Security Council continue to overlook it? I think it's significant because this is another uh, 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 indication that something is not right. You know, when the Secretary General calls three times in three consecutive reports that I urge that uh, the, 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 the human rights violations in, in Western Sahara be looked at, and now you're having a Spanish judge also becoming involved. So something is not right. And it is the responsibility of the Security Council to look in this matter, especially if human rights are related to the maintenance of international peace and security. We've always said that, that if they are related to that, they, then it is the charter requires the Security Council to do this. And we will continue raising it until it is addressed.